Hey, welcome to 209coach.com. I want to do a video for you today on cause and effect of bat drag. I got, a, I get a lot of emails, probably one of the top 10 for sure of how do I fix my child's bat drag. So I'm going to try to explain this to you in a way that hopefully it makes sense to you so that you can start fixing your child's or your bat drag, okay? Now the first thing I want you to do is get yourself in front of a mirror and a reflection so you can kind of see what's what I'm referring to, okay? Even if it's not for you, if you want to teach your child or teach someone this, try this yourself so you can see the cause and effect of bat drag, okay? Now, right here we see with this uh, particular player here, she has a really nice setup. You can see that her top hand is facing somewhere in the direction of the pitcher. This is beautiful. What this does, it gives you a vertical bat, and this is what you want. This is a very nice, relaxed setup. Like I always talk about in my videos, you can see here she has a lot of flexion in her arms. Just a very, very nice setup right here, okay? So, again... Always start with a nice setup. Now what's going on here, as she gets into the gather, you can see here she still has a beautiful, beautiful uh, stage of the swing right here where her hands are just very relaxed. You see that? Just is very relaxed and this is what you want. When you start to lift your front leg, you don't really want to have any pullback. You don't want to really do anything. Your arm should still be dead and your bat should still be vertical at the apex of the gather. You can see here it's very obvious that her palm at the apex of the gather is still facing the pitcher. So far, so good. Now, here's where the problem is, okay? As she starts to get into her stride, pay attention to her top hand, okay? As she starts to stride, her palm goes from literally facing the pitcher to now it's facing the sky where her thumb is actually behind her, therefore producing bat drag, okay? So her elbow creeps underneath her hand. Her palm, right now, it's right here facing the sky, okay? And if, she, if you get the thumb of her top hand, it's facing somewhere right here where the fans are in the audience, okay? So again, what she's doing, she's starting off very nicely in a nice setup, a nice gather. But again, when she starts to stride, her palm goes from literally instead of facing downward where her top hand should be facing in front of the home plate, now is facing towards the sky. And you can see here, it's very obvious. Now, if I wanted to teach bat drag, what I would tell someone is, okay, as you stride, I want your top hand to be facing the sky as you get into your toe touch and exactly what would be produced would be bat drag okay so again if you try this yourself okay try this yourself just to let yourself know what is the cause of it so this way you'll know how to fix it once we get to the next stage of the video where i'm going to explain this to you okay so again instead of the palm facing towards the front of the home plate the palm is facing skyward therefore the back elbow creeps underneath the hands, okay? Again, this should be pretty obvious to you what's going on. And I, the reason I want you to try this so that you know that when your child does this, pay attention to the top hand. You will see that the bat will get very flat, very horizontal. At this stage of the swing, the bat should literally be in an angle like this, facing towards the catcher's glove area. But it's very obvious right here that her bat is very, very, very flat, okay? And this is some uh, one indicator to you that your child probably has bat drag. Now, in order to fix it, I'm going to show you what to do next. All right, so here we have Aaron Judge here, and just like we saw with the young lady, she had a really nice setup, so does Aaron Judge. His palm right now is facing in the direction of the pitcher. Okay, very nice. His bat is vertical right here. Very nice setup, and just like the young lady, you can see here he has a lot of flexion in the arms. This is a, just a beautiful setup here from Aaron Judge. So again, it's always important to start with a really nice setup. And again, as he gets to the apex of the gather right here, again, just like the young lady who had bat drag, beautiful apex of the gather. There's no uh, using of any pullback or anything yet at the apex of the gather. The bat is still vertical. Now, this is really important to understand because what happens with a lot of players, what they do a lot of times, as soon as they start getting the gather, they start getting into this major pullback, which creates a lot of problems. So you just want to have a nice setup, very relaxed arms, apex of the gather, very relaxed arms, okay? Now, here's the part where the young lady started messing up, where Aaron Judge will not mess up. So this is how you, you go, what I want you to do now. 
as you start to your stride now, I want you to get your palm, instead of it producing this flat uh, horizontal palm, I want it to now face downward. See what his palm's doing now? It's facing downward. Now by doing so, pay attention to his back elbow. See how his back elbow, see how his elbow's down right now? So what I'll do right now is I'll put a little circle where the bottom of his elbow is right here and watch what happens as he starts to pull back now his back elbow is working back and behind him and you can see here it's very obvious now that his back elbow is way up here so his elbow has gone from down to working up because what he's doing is he's applying the pullback very gentle pullback as his palm is facing downward like i always tell my students feel like you're spilling a cup and as you're spilling it that your hand your palm oops let me erase this right here your palm is facing kind of in this way okay just like aaron has right here and it's facing down this way like in front of the home plate this is what you want to have in order for you to start the process of fixing your bat drag okay so it's a very simple drill all you want to do is just stay right here with a vertical bat uh, palm facing the pitcher you get to the apex of the gather your palm should still be facing the pitcher and as you start your stride now spill the cup spill the cup and you'll see that your back elbow will start working back and behind you just like Aaron Judge. Now I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope this helps you or starts the process of you helping yourself or your child fix bad drag. Again, it's crucial that you maintain the pullback. Maintain the pullback well into your heel plant just like Aaron Judge right here. Watch how the lead elbow works up to the height of the mouth and watch how he launches this barrel way up in the sky this produces doubles triples and home runs but the process begins with a nice setup with a nice toe touch where the top hand starts facing downward downward not flat not facing towards the sky thank you for watching and god bless